Welcome back, Chronics, and thanks for joining me. Today, I want to talk about why Ehlers Danlos patients are referred to as zebras. Medical students are taught to look for the most common diagnosis, not the most uncommon. So nine out of 10 times, it's gonna be something common. Were that 10th time, uncommon. You guys are on your own. Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is rare, but hypermobility EDS or hypermobility spectrum disorder isn't so rare. It's very confusing. So our doctors are just like, we're in a zoo. We don't know what anything is. I am the bravest zebra of them all. When I first heard this expression, I actually thought it was because say you have a horse and a zebra standing behind you. Horses and zebras could be mistaken for each other. They're gonna smell the same. Their hoof beats are gonna sound the same. If you pet them with your eyes closed, their mane will feel the same, but unless you turn around and look at them. Turn around, please. And listen. Listen, just listen, please. You're not gonna know it's a zebra because you're not gonna see the stripes and then you're not gonna hear the symptoms of the patient who's trying to tell you what's wrong with them. Fun fact, a group of zebras is called a dazzle. Razzles. Razzles? No, 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 a dazzle. Often you'll see the EDS slogan, together we dazzle. Now I get it. It's tough though, every time I wear, you know, EDS swag with zebras on it, people are like, what does the zebra stand for? And I'm like, okay, there's medical students and then there's like hoof beats, but it's like not the hoof beats you think it is. Make that make sense. The EDS society does have some really awesome stuff. Look cool, but look cool while raising awareness. That is a great idea. I will put a link in the description where you can find all the fun swag for this year. So thanks for watching Zebras. Wink. <laughs> and remember, stay strong, stay true to yourself, and don't take crap from anyone. I will see you guys next time.